One of the things that I'm getting asked about lately is this digital readout that I added to my Woodland Mills HM126 sawmill. This thing has been really handy. Of course, Woodland Mills has a ruler that comes with it. They actually have two of them, their magnetic mount. But for me, it works a lot easier with this digital readout. It really wasn't real hard to add on. Now, I ordered this on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below. So the unit is magnetic and really all it has is this unit and then the measurement device stick i mounted mine right here on this little indicator so normally when i'm cutting i just leave it right there it's really easy to just hit the zero button and then from there it'll allow me to lower if i want one inch exactly it's right there one inch this particular model is the easy view dro plus i'll leave a link in the description below you can choose from millimeters inches and also fraction inches just like we know it in the u.s so to install it what i did it comes with different size tracks i'm not sure exactly what you call this put this ruler mounted it on here had to make sure it's perfectly straight with the ruler that's on here or with the metal that's on here and then i measured this this part moves up and down and then this part just stays still. So I put one bolt at the top, little small bolt at the top. You do want to make sure that the ruler goes far enough up so when the blade's all the way down, you'll have enough room. And on the inside, I did end up putting a screw through the case right here, drilled all the way through, and also had to put some spacers on the other side. And make sure that bolt's pretty flush. You don't want it to hit anything. It's a really easy install once you think it out. I'll put a log on the mill and show you how it works. So the goal with this log is to make some boards for board and batten siding. I'm trying to get some one by 12s out of this log. So Okay, so the goal of this is to get some 1x12s out of this log. I've got the cant ready, so 12 inches wide. And just lower it down. Pull off a little bit. You, might, you can be more precise probably if you do decimal. And that's how I usually cut it.
there you have it. That's how I installed this digital readout on my sawmill. And if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more videos on how I'm cutting some boards for my board and batten siding, you can click on the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.